Yeah, OK. OK. Well, let's talk about a uh, new topic that is house and accommodation. And I want to ask you what kind of house you would like to live in? What kind of house? I think yeah, part. what kind of house you would like to live in? For example, live in apartment, mo modern apartment or house, maybe a cottage. So what kind of house? Like, I would like to live in a house that have a garden. Mm -hmm. So yeah. big or small? Maybe uh... I don't know. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> OK, so tell me what is really important to you. If you are going to feel comfortable at home, so what is what is the most important criteria to feel comfortable at home? Well, uh, I don't get the, what, the word criteria. OK, so uh, it means maybe items, options. Ah, yeah. I think that. Um, ah, because I like, I believe that there's a God in this life. There God so in this life, so I don't. <clears throat> I don't want to live like I want. I don't want to sleep alone in a room. I sleep with my father and sometimes with my father too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you sleep with uh, father, so in the same room? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, interesting. Okay, so is it important? So tell me, having maybe large windows, getting sunshine, is it important or no? You think no? No. It's not important? Yeah. So what is important at home? So what is really important? For example, we can give some examples. Having uh, maybe some bedrooms, having more than two bathrooms, or I don't know, maybe fully fitted kitchen, modern, and of course, and maybe furniture. So what is really important to you? I think that uh, just a room does, no, no, just like a, a war a wardrobe that contains all of my clothes because I uh, my mom put it into <clears throat> like uh, she put my clothes with my brother's clothes so maybe I don't know which one is mine. Yeah, I got it. You get confused. Yeah, I got it. Okay, so let me share my screen. Okay, so that you can see the book. Well, so as you can see, okay, the topic of the session is about house and accommodation. Okay, well, let's take a look at these pictures and tell me. So we have a house in the country. It means, you know, out of the city and the luxury apartment in the city or this one, a caravan and this one, of course, this one, this one, or this one. We have an igloo, and of course, we have shipping container homes. We have houseboat. This is houseboat. This is shipping container homes. And of course, we have treehouse. Well, if you can choose, if you have a chance to live in one of these, maybe houses, which one can be your choice? which home is the best and the most appropriate one for you? Maybe I think. Uh, uh, I 
fick uh, mm, you scroll down? Yeah. I think that. Uh, uh, what is the name of the picture C, teacher? Picture, picture C. C, this one, this is an igloo, igloo. This it's, one, look, igloo. Yes, I would like to live in it. Yeah, I live in, but it's really cold. Actually, you know, it's really interesting. You know, I would like to live in, you know, maybe for a short time. I'd rather live in an igloo. I think it's interesting. Okay, what about tree house? Have you ever thought about having a tree house? Yes, I have seen it before, but it's like <clears throat> I because when you're living on it, it doesn't answer that when you sleep, maybe the um maybe it's raining and the tree is collapsed <laughs> no way no of course yeah of course this you know this kind of homes of course houses have structure so you no know, foundation or structure so i don't think so but of course it's a little maybe it's a little scary you're right but I don't think so. Ah. <laughs> OK, so uh, how about this one? We have this one, a uh, houseboat. Yeah, that's really interesting. Hmm. Houseboat. Maybe you can see this uh, kinds of homes in Italy or maybe in the UK. Yes, but I think I'm not really into it. Yeah, you're not. Of course, and this one, I think this is really, I yes. don't know. This is, yeah, okay. shipping container homes. Oh, it's, uh -huh. uh, it's horrible, I think. Okay. Oh, so what about this? The first one, a house in the country, countryside, and of course, garden, flowers. What do you think? Uh, maybe I like I just want to live in this house when I mm, when I have free time for like in the weekend or in some uh, oh what the, um vacation yes in some yeah. vacation of course, of course. so just on the weekend or at the weekend. We don't say in the weekend, on or at, on yeah, the at, weekend. Yeah. Okay, very good. So let's keep going. Okay. Again, we have a text related to homes, amazing homes. We are going to skim the text in order to get the main idea of the text. So we only want to know that what the text is about. So the general and the main idea of what, so we don't need to scan it, just skim it, okay, to get the main idea. But uh, be for it, okay, let me do something. Okay, so let's read. Okay, before it, let's read uh, this instruction and these questions. Of course, you know, we have what is the passage about? So, A or B or C. So, first of all, to skim the text, we need to read the items in order to get maybe an idea about the text. So, read them, then we go to the text and try to skim it. Yes. Okay, well. Let's get started. Your turn. Look, I uh, can can I read again A B C because I haven't. Yeah, of read. course, of course. Let me make it bigger. No difference. Yes. Okay. Okay. Wow. Well.
Do you scroll down? Of course. Could you scroll down? Yes, okay. Okay, so let's find the best match to the text A or B or C. Um, I think that B. B, definitely yes. You know, because it contain the main idea. So as you can see, the text is about different types of houses and homes all around the world. So unusual and of course they're a little, a little different from maybe normal houses. So we have unusual places to live or stay around the world. OK, yeah. now we're going to read it again. But this word, OK, at this time we want to scan it in order to find some answers. OK, but uh, let me ask you a few questions. OK, now I want you to tell me okay, according to the text. Which yeah. one is more interesting to you, of course? Which one? If you want to choose one of them as the best, the most interesting, maybe the most exciting place to live, which one can be your choice? Mm, I think that uh, letter E. E, okay. And would you tell me what it's about? It's about uh, the igloo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course, igloo. So, do you like living in the northest or the southest, maybe places in the world, just North Pole or South Pole? Do you like? What is this? this are? Yeah, so let me say, uh, we have two poles. In yeah. the world, you know, the, the northest one and the southest, they're really icy, really cold. So ah. I asked you if you like to leave because normally igloos are maybe in the North Pole or South Pole. So if you're going to leave them, you need to go there. Like the Antarctica, right? Definitely, ah. yes. Antarctica, yes, of course. Yes, I think maybe yes. What is what is really hard to leave? OK, well, uh, we have the word refugee here, as you can see. Do you know the meaning of refugee? No. It means displayed person. Displaced, you know, a person who doesn't have any place to leave. Displaced. Yeah. yeah. For example, yeah. sometimes you travel, you immigrate illegally illegally from your country to another country so you don't have any house to leave you don't have job you don't have, so this is homeless or something like you know displaced person that is refugee get it yes okay very good well now okay there are some words and we are going to match these words and phrases from the text with their paraphrases okay let's guess Houseboat. Um, homes on the water. Excellent. And the water to permanently. Uh, I don't know this mean of the uh, the word. Yeah, permanently. Permanently means forever, always. Ah, permanently. Yeah. 
So for example, I live in this house permanently. It means forever, always. And number three, privacy. Privacy is um, not being watched by others. Yeah, very good. Excellent. And four? Surrounded by natural world, I think. Uh, uh, have, have, having nature all around. Very good. Five. Uncomfortable. Um, not feeling pleasant. Very good. And the first, the last one. Sweden, Norway, and Finland, uh, Nordic countries. Very good. And let me write something on the board for you. The opposite. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let me write. Yeah. Uh, yes. What is what is a uh, Nordic countries? Okay, Nordic means countries. Nordic countries means countries that located in the north of the earth. Nordic in the, in the north of the earth. Get it? Yes. Yeah. So uh, we have the uh, opposite of permanently. That is not bad to know it. So let me write it for you. OK. Temporarily. Temporarily. It's, it means briefly for a short time, okay, short duration. That is opposite of permanently, okay? Yeah. And both are adverbs, okay? Permanent and temporary are adjective, okay? So, but these two are adverbs because of ly. So, and, okay, do you have any other question related to words? No, I think it's clear okay. enough. Okay. OK, so so as I told you and Nordic, maybe the north, actually the northern maybe countries in the world, of course, especially the European northern or Nord, you know, Nordic countries, you no know, European northern part countries. OK, choose the best paraphrase for these sentences from the text. OK, let's read and try. The treehouse had everything we needed. B. The tree house was very well equipped. Definitely, yes. Very good. So we, we had enough equipment. Okay. Number two. Uh, some house boats, some house boats can be moved to other parts of the river. Uh, A. Not all houseboats are permanently fixed in one place. Very good. And three. Um, once how in Chile was built from tail containers. Con containers. Yeah. B containers were used to make one house. Very good. And as you can see, you know, paraphrases, you know, actually the look of paraphrases, you know, maybe the structure of sentences and paraphrases are really different from the original text. So when we paraphrase something, as you know, we need to change it with our own words. So yeah. just, of course, both paraphrase and, of course, the original text should contain the same meaning. Well, yeah. OK, as you know, we have some kinds of question, uh, questions like sentence completion. You need to complete the set, uh, actually the text using sometimes we have multiple choices. So we have some choices, multiple options and multiple choices that you need to say, OK, A or B or C to complete the sentence. OK, now would you read this part, please? Out loud. Uh, in this chat type, <clears throat> you will have to complete a sentence with up to three words 
uh, for all two words and all number taken from the passage, the instructions will tell you how many words you are allowed to use. Look at this ex example, houseboat occupants lie living. Mm -hmm. This is a paraphrase of the following sentence from the passage. People who live on houseboats enjoy being close to nature. Because you have to use words from the passage in your answer, the answer is close to nature. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Now, as you know, we have an instruction here. Okay, so this one that tells us what you we need to do. So it means, and of course, word limits. It illustrates the word limit. For example, no more than two words. It means we can't, we're not allowed to use more than two words, sometimes or and number. Okay, well, we want to complete these sentences using no more than two words it means maximum two words and of course from the original text so you don't need to use synonym you don't need to add your own opinion or paraphrase and you only need to find the correct word from the text okay yeah so let's complete this part <clears throat> So let, let me underline the keyword because it's really important. Leave in the transparent. Okay, house. Love it. The two people who live in the transparent, but it wouldn't. Okay, transparent. Do you know the meaning of transparent? No. It no. means, for example, you have a lot of windows, okay? All yeah. around the yeah, all around the house. So actually, it's really you know everyone can see inside the house. Oh uh, yeah. It means trans. Yeah, of course. Normally, we don't have a lot of walls. There is sometimes there is no wall, only glasses. Okay, so it's really clear to see inside the house. Okay, it's really easy. So, yeah. well, steps in the box opposite, of course, and complete the sentences I think the can I ask you one minute please just one minute I need to while yeah. you're checking this one thank you sorry Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, well, keep going. Well, so, okay, first of all, could you see any anything related to transparent houses in this text? Do you remember anything? Um, a seat house. Mm -hmm. Okay, so can you tell me, okay, now what's the answer? Can you guess? Uh, a citro house. Oh no okay. no no more than it would. It would uh, but it wouldn't. But it wouldn't. Okay, which paragraph? Which paragraph contained this information related to transparent house? Um, P. Okay, so B. Yes. So we say this one. Okay. Now let's check. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
So what do you think about this? So. But it wouldn't. Okay. Yeah, of course. It wouldn't suit everyone. OK, so uh, we can I say. The, yeah. The, the word privacy is a verb or now. Privacy is not uh, private. Privacy. Privacy is noun. Privacy. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, at this sentence, it wouldn't. I think that's it's go with verb. Mm -hmm. OK, so let, let's check. OK, the two uh, you say it needs a verb. No, yeah. I think that yeah. ap, uh, like it wouldn't and after this is a verb. Of course we need a verb. So what's this? It wouldn't suit. Suit is yeah. a verb. Yeah, it wouldn't suit. Suit is verb. Yeah. Yeah, of course, of course. So we can, of course, we can use it as a noun, but here it's not noun. You know, of course, it's a kind of clothes that we were formal clothes. This is suit, but here this is verb, of course, and it's really it means something that uh, actually is acceptable. It's suitable. Yeah. So this is suit. This is verb here. OK, and now number two, the designer of the smallest house hopes just tell me which paragraph can I find the information re related to the smallest house? I don't remember. OK, so let's check. Why not? Yes. Um, uh, D. OK. And now let's try to find the answer. Hmm. Can I see again the, the of sentence? course, of oh, course. Let's check it again. Yes, okay. So we need to find the words maybe hope. Maybe lack the synonym of lack, maybe synonym of lack. Yeah, of course. So, as I told you, we need to look for synonyms and definitions while finding the answers because normally we can't see the, the same word in the original text and question. We normally see the synonyms. So, or uh, maybe, oh, hmm? so, but like L I C K, it uh, means shortage. Lack means shortage. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah okay. of course. So, uh, so uh, we I think need to work. Mm -hmm. to work is draw attention. Excellent. Draw attention. It means get someone's attention to something. I draw attention. I draw your attention. It seems I get your attention. OK. Well, the third one, people who stay in igloos sometimes protect themselves from the cold by making use of igloos. Hello. Mm. Hmm. How? How can they make themselves warm 
um, use reindeer skins? Yeah, reindeer skins. Of course, reindeer is a kind of deer uh, that lives in the northern parts of the world, you know, maybe, and they are bigger than normal deers. And of course, they have two large antlers. So, uh, the type of deers. Okay, very okay. good. And the last one, people who have would find a holiday in a tree house ideal. Tree house. B. Mm. No, uh, I, yeah, yes, no. Mm. F, letter F. Okay, letter, you say paragraph F? Yes, paragraph F. Okay, and it's about tree house? Yes. Yeah, and okay, what's the answer, you think? Uh, you need to find a synonym of, or of ideal. Yes. Good, I don't remember the sentence. Okay, of course, let's check again, let's check again. Okay, people who have would find a holiday in a tree house ideal. Who yeah. have what? So, perfect place, the tree house, ideal means perfect. Perfect place to what? Uh, to get away. From, from what? Um, busy lives. Very good. So people who have busy lives, of course, three house can be the, an ideal place for the people who have busy lives. Yeah. Okay. What happened? I can't hear you. Can you hear me? I can't hear you. And mm, your picture is freezing. I can't hear you. I can't see you. Can you see me? Can you hear me? 